the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Amen. Love God you. bless you. You know what? This is this is a I really enjoy what we talked about this morning, this Sunday session. And that's I'm gonna break it down to a sections A, B, C, D, you know, whatever it takes to, to finish it out. But I do want to make sure you remember is to subscribe. If you like the video, uh, subscribe to it. Because that's what we need to continue to show that we're doing and we're on the right track. Uh, but if you don't, I'm still going to preach the gospel. <laughs> Hallelujah. But the topic we're talking about today, the subject or the topic we're talking about today is right here. Uh, let me show it to you. I love this one because I'm trying to bring out a point. The point is right here. Uh, the descriptor or the title is down in the far head right corner. And I, I, I moved the other one as far as teaching the gospel is sure way it was written. I put that to the left now so that you can stay focused on what is your responsibility and what is the subject for the day. And this one is talking about is God. And when he said, I did not, and I guess we could change, we could change the title and say, God did not, so nobody will get uh, confused. Uh, but God said, I, I did not call you to be hateful, superior, or seek fame, glory. I didn't call you that. That's the, I don't know where you got that from. I don't know why you think that's important. Because all that said, the, 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 if you're trying to be superior, I didn't call you to be prideful. I didn't call you to be superior. I didn't call you to seek vain glory. I called you to go preach the gospel. I called you to help others receive eternal life. I gave you eternal life if you are in Christ. You have eternal life. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes him should not perish but have everlasting life. He came, he gave his son for you to have eternal life. And now some of you sit there and say, well, I don't, you, you're gonna, once you die, that's it. Then you wanna have faith in that's up to you. But also those, those of us that are believers and many others, know that we believe by faith that there's another that's eternal life. And we want to be in eternal life connected to God. That's what eternal life means. Opposed to eternal death. Disconnected from God. So this topic, and then while we're showing this, uh, this, this week is to get you to internalize what, what you need to do as a believer. You, you call to preach the good news. You call to bring people out of the dark into God's marvelous light. You call to obey the, the, the guidance that God gave or Christ gave. But then you can either go by the law, but the laws are good too. You can go by the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments is, is talking about, and you wrap it up in two great commandments to love the Lord thy God with all the heart, all our mind, all that strength, and to love thy neighbors as self. And then Christ said, I gave you a new commandment in John 13, 34. A new commandment I give you, that you love one another as I love you, that you also love one another. And 35 said, and men will know that you're my disciples for the love that you have for one another. Let's love one another. And we that are believers are both to encourage people to repent. Because Christ said, I didn't come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So let's do that, amen. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to make comments. It helps me to understand where I'm at and what I need to do to fix things. Because I'm not perfect. I'm not even trying to be. I know who he is. That's Christ. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. I'll check you later. Bye-bye. You know, so the round of it, and let's go and wrap this one up then. So there was, so 28. Okay. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. See? For ye are all one in Yeshua Hamashiach. That goes back to Genesis Christ again, Jesus. too. Male and, and if female. ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed, Abram's mm -hmm. seed, yeah. and heirs. 
according to the promise. Meaning you, the, because these other people will get this inheritance, I want to deny them of this inheritance. Yeah. I, I, don't so want I want to, to steal. I want to steal <laughs> this, this inheritance, this yeah. promise. Yeah. I'm going to steal this promise because I am not going to be in Christ. Mm. Ooh, I'm going right, yeah. to yeah. claim Abraham's seed by claiming I'm an adopted Deep. under him and not that... being adopted, claiming. So that's like forgery. <laughs> yeah, it is. It, is. it was form, not a form of hypocrisy again, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You're, I'm you're, using you're, a facade of something. Yeah, you're you're so privileged that you're gonna claim a forefather that you are not even connected to. D. And no, you're not. Yeah. You know because the consequences of you, because you like I said, most people that are rich, and I'm talking about rich people, yeah, yeah. And no, some of y'all are rich is 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 what is subjective too, isn't it? Yeah. Right. It, it, it's if you got a I, one of my friends uh you didn't know him he, he was on facebook the other day he left here got another job and um, got promoted he was in texas oh i guess that's where he's at and he was showing him by the pool he'll play the music right and he's sitting there by the pool and he's you know dancing uh singing to the music and showing good panoramic of, of his 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 essay, his, his whole man. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think it it, it kind of it may it fit. I think you have a similar situation. I think you you do you, you, you have a pool in the back of your head? Yeah, you sure it wasn't my video. <laughs> it, it was close. Did do you have a cover? Over yeah, he had a cover. You got a jacuzzi too? No, I don't have a jacuzzi. Yeah, he, he had a jacuzzi. <laughs> And it, it, it was, uh, uh, there was no houses in the back of his yard. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, you could see the the, the scenery. Yeah. Uh, him sitting on the patio and his wife, he's playing the music and he said, without you, he pointed to his wife. So she was in the back of the patio, patio too. Mm -hmm. And he was just showing, I'm, I'm living good. Mm -hmm. That That's basically what was being portrayed. I, I'm living good. Yeah. You know? Uh, so that is not rich. That's just being comfortable. Yeah, that's comfortable. But you, you know, know what? what? But but you know what? What? That comfort is a lot. <laughs> I, I'm and I'm I'm saying. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, yeah. You know when you when you are comfortable mm. and and you have a peaceful place to where you have no need or no wants mm. and mm. you could just exist within your dwelling mm. that's a great I, I mean that's a great feeling yes sir yes sir that's a yes, great sir. feeling um, and, that's what, and some people like you take another country like vietnam the mm. poor people in vietnam or even the poor people in, in this country in the in the, in the cities there's yeah. people in the cities that don't that that don't have no peace no you know there's people who 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 are homeless but are living a peaceful life yes sir that's what i'm saying it's you subjective. have homeless people who choose to live that lifestyle because it's more appealing to them mm -hmm. than to be in the hustle and bustle of civilization and yeah and and falling into the 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 idea of civilized being mm -hmm. or, yes, sir. Or, or living according to the way society dictates. Yes, sir. You yeah. know, there, there are there are people who who desire a homeless life because it is more comfortable for them. Less stress. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, they have all these meals. And truly, they uh, are living the life that I think follows the the, the pattern where if God feeds. The birds. Oh yes, sir. Ooh. How much more will he give? He, they exist on whatever is available to them, no different than 
the, the birds of the air and, and the fish in the seas and the grass and the flowers, how everything is, is, is nursed and fed by, the, by God, they exist in that same way. And, 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 and on a whole nother level, <laughs> when, when hell breaks loose and civilization falls apart as we know it, we are going to be looking for these homeless people to teach us how to exist. Survive. Yeah, survive. Yeah. They are going to be the head and not the tail. Mm. You know, yeah, the, first, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. be first. Wow. You know, I, I think about that all the time. I wonder if some other people think about that, Brother Addison, to the fact that they fear for them because what we did, what has happened to these people in their rising back, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You see a progression, and you, you, nobody can say you can't deny. You can't yeah. deny a, a, a progression upward. And you can't stop it. You put a mass incarceration, you got, but you were talking about last week, you said that percentage doesn't equal no, the number doesn't. of people <laughs> that we're talking about. No, you, you don't have a place. You can't fit. You can't put all those people in there. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's 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 could be one of the concerns they have. Some of them. Yeah. He that he that is last shall be first, and it may be a reversal, right? In other words, if they were first, we were last. Yeah. Now we're first, and if we don't watch out. We can be last again. We can be last again. Wow. That, that, that's, 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 I mean, this stuff is very complex if you think about it. Yeah. It's I mean, very complex. It's, it, it, it's, it's, it's difficult, you know, to, to, to put it in a box. <laughs> you can't, yeah. You know, because you can't. No. Because, you know, this, this, this world is, is, and our existence is summed up in a book. Yes, sir. Of so many pages, so many chapters. Mm. And, mm. and life exists within those pages Ooh. and the constraints of it. Ooh. And when you think you've gotten to the end, mm. you find out that there's this cycle mm. that's mm. going to go and it's going to keep going until the fullness of time. Yes, sir. Yeah. When God moves from one dispensation to the next, and then to the next, and then to the final. You did the final. And you know that cycle of being reminded daily through yes. the death of those who, you know, they once were here, yeah. but they're not anymore. The fact that the sun rises mm. and falls every day. Mm. Mm. The you fact said, look that, at there's, the that there is, is, is season. There's seed time and harvest. Harvest time. Oh man, what that goes to the other scripture thing about be not deceived, God is not marred for what some of man sowed, that's what they reap. That shall he reap. And some of these people know that they have sold a lot of bad stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and they're worried about the harvest. Yeah. 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 What, what, what gets me over all though is your eternal soul yeah. is the most important harvest that you want. Oh, that's the harvest. That's, the, and, that's the harvest you you you, you must. You must. You, you you have to cultivate that. You have to stir on, that man. soil. You have to water it. Come you on. have to prune. You yeah. <laughs> and, and and that's what that guy came and said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Yeah. Most people want to answer that that and that's the real gist of what people want. Christ came to give life and life more abundantly. Yeah. John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and whosoever believed in him shall not, what, perish, yeah. but if ever, you see what I'm saying? Everlasting life. And, he's, and I tell you, Yeshua is such an example on every, every, every measure, yeah. every proportion of our being. I mean, we follow him to the point where we give our lives mm. to live his life for him. Deep. And he lives it through us. So you, we 
give up ourselves like he gave up his self. And, and, and the more we do that, the more we resemble him. The more we allow him to live in us, the greater our lives are. The more like him we become, the more God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. As in heaven. So, so really we got a, a, a bigger self-proclaimed atheist out there. Because you can't sit there and say, you know, like, you, you know, you can't, you can't, it's like anything else. In order for me to be a good, like you, been off, for me, being an officer, being an NCO, there's certain things I got to do to do that, right? If I want to get promoted, move up to the next level, the next level, there's certain things I need to do. Yeah. You know, so now we're talking about, did he not lay down the path of being a believer yeah. to receive eternal salvation? And did he not leave a guidance you can either take it from the Ten Commandments, or you can take it from this New Commandment. He gave us guidance. I'm just saying, like, you know, once you get in the military, you receive guidance. You, you know, they change it from regulation to instructions. You have instructions of being a good military person. Do you feel that we got instructions to be a good Christian? Oh, we, we got detail. Instruction. We we got we got a flow chart <laughs> that is we incredible. Do. We we, we do. have a road map. We we have look, we have GPS <laughs> to being a Christian. We we have Christian for dummies. <laughs> we, we have everything. You can't miss this. You can't miss it and you it's a choice. It's a choice and you got you know being an atheist is a choice it's a choice and you put your faith in it yes sir just like you put it's your a level faith of faith in, yeah in, 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 in god mm -hmm. and 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 believe so that is not something that you're you're taught to be that way you can't just be that way you just you're can't taught be that, that. Way. yes sir you're taught that come on you cannot exist and hmm. not believe that there is a God. You have to be taught to be an atheist. Mm, 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 mm. Brother, it's, it's so there, like you said, there's no excuse. Is it, is one of the scriptures said, we're not being excused. What? There's one of many that said. Yeah, it's just it's creation moments. itself. Creation itself, it, it screams God. Ooh. That's in Romans it, 1, ain't it? Yeah. Did, 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 did. It, it, he, he's in everything. You cannot miss him if mm. you just sit back and observe. You see God. <laughs> you, you can't. You can't exist without looking up and 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 seeing that space mm -hmm. is held back. You can't not look out over the ocean and see that the water Deep. is held back. You can't breathe mm -hmm. and not see oxygen and believe that it's not there. Until, until, until you realize you can't breathe. Until, right? you, until <laughs> you can't breathe. <laughs> yeah. Then you realize you're preaching. Yeah. You get, yeah. yeah. And so all that we are mm. is 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 a blessing of God and 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 mm. it is a display of, of him. Is, yes, of his mercy. Remember that what, what a song is, his mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. And therefore you want to show mercy to other people because you receive mercy, right? So you're right. It is, it's, that's why I said he didn't teach you to be hateful. He didn't teach you to be superior. He didn't teach you to be go for vain glory. And that's what we demonstrated on some of these scriptures today. Yeah. The fact is that he get like but you really you answered the question. He gave us guidance. Yeah. He gave us guidance. I think I'm gonna use that scripture in Romans next time too. Without excuse, because a lot of people they were focused on homosexual, right? They, they were focused on the fact that they look. I, I think he's talking to all of us. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, there's I, no no one. 
no, 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 without a screen. I don't care what you call yourself. You can't I don't care say. what what hey v. I mean, what them they. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can't. <laughs> and that's why I like about the scripture, like I said, is that you know, saying everybody got to get account to himself. Yes. And, and I think a lot of people. I don't think preachers don't teach them. Look, you got to give account to yourself. And so don't sit there and look at me. You better look at Christ. And and and, that, and most ministries need to point toward Christ. And most people going out there to be equipped, not point toward the church building, not point to a ministry, but point to Christ. Now you can go to now our script, our church went to for, toward Christ, and we teach some good things. We teach the word of God and everything else. But I'm telling you, well, I don't care where you're gonna go to. I just want you to know Christ. That's the only thing we're preaching to you about Christ. You know? And and, and uh, we're not perfect. No. No. But what we do do is we try to give you the word and the word only, and we give you anything outside of that. We, it, it's, we try to ensure that it is a revelation mm. from God, from God, through the Holy Spirit. Come on, brother. And we try to give you it without self. Come on. Be we don't hold anything back because we think that it's going to offend. We try to. We, well, I guess we, we do do that because we don't want to offend anybody and it's, that's not what we, we're here for. Uh, but we don't we don't want to not say something mm -hmm. that, that needs to be said in trying to not hurt someone's feelings. Well, the now, thing we is, will say it in a mm -hmm. manner that is acceptable. Exactly. Christ did. Yes. Right. What, what I'm telling you is saying, let's tell you the truth, your weaknesses, in that Bible, to read that Bible, got all his weaknesses. David had weaknesses. Moses yeah. had weaknesses. Everybody. Uh, and they, every, they, Abraham they had weaknesses. Far from Everybody. Why? You know why? Because he wanted to show and demonstrate that you're, anybody who comes into the gospel and be in it for a minute and try to pretend and portray themselves as perfect is, Brother Riles, that's where the fault comes in at. You, you, your message is not, just like we did carols, your message is the most effective part of all those teaching was when people gave their personal testimony yes, yeah. to show their weaknesses, to show that they don't walk on water. Then that's what he's trying to say. That's why you want to give mercy to other people because you receive mercy. So I think your, your testimony is wrapped up on the grace of God, the mercy of God. Right? So that that person understand, oh, he gonna give me mercy too? He gave me. He gave me. Oh, I, I would I, would, I didn't I didn't I didn't come out of I didn't come out with a silver spoon of, of glory in my mouth. I came out as a sinner. I came out as ungodly. I came out as unright. You see what I'm saying? I was not made whole. I was incomplete. I was made whole because of him, not because of me. And I didn't earn it. No. And I never was that's worthy. The, that's the thing. We we didn't earn. We accept. We accept. We 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 receive what is given. Because we yes. can't earn something that is not earnable. Yes. And you can't purchase a gift. Mm -hmm. If someone gives you something, you can't give them. Uh, uh, anything for a gift that is given if it's already given how can you give somebody you, you can give love back you can give love back you can give thanks back you, yes sir you can give glory back come on now come on yeah as a matter of fact you if those people that did that were superior you should be saying God made me superior mm -hmm. and he can let you be with, you can be superior with me. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's not superior of exclusion. It's superior of inclusion. You can come to us. You can be in the body. Yeah. Because see, greater, look at the scripture I'm showing you with, greater is he that's in me yeah, than he's in the world. Yeah. And greater and that's, means... That's the beautiful thing about it. This is an elevation. Elevation. This is an elevation. This Come on, is, bro. <laughs> this is, you become a new creation that is far above 
all the principalities, yes, all sir. the power, everything heaven that, that is, heaven heaven is, is ungodly, Ooh. you become superior to that. But you oh. know what? Everyone else has that same opportunity. This, the same it is opportunity. not denied. It Come is on now. Not Come denied. on. It is, it is not held over. <laughs> It is, it is, even if you don't accept it, you are still loved. You're still loved. And you exist within yourself. Come but on. You, we, we, we still are going to be the same. You're going to love you? We're going to yeah. love you? Just I'm not like going to exhort you? who I am over you. I'm not going to look down upon you because I am in Christ and you are not. I'm going to have compassion and my Come heart on. is going to go out for you that you accept Woo. this being offered. Come on. See, it's you not, preach. <laughs> it's not that we're denying. No. Nope. No. No. We, we, call, we, we it point you to it. desire for yes. you to come and join us. Yes, sir. We don't we're need it. We didn't need those tools that we saw the, the use to take this country, or the, even in the, back in England, or back in Europe, or back in Africa. The, the, the method of man was the brutality and the hate, did not the method of God. He didn't set it up that way. We, we took the spirit of Cain, <laughs> you know, we, or, or the evil that, that was consumed by evil. Yeah. Some some of us, not all of us people, we, I think we all agree that's not all of us. But God is trying to say, I want all of us to go the way of Abel. I want you to go the way of Christ. Because matter of fact, I want you to go the way of Christ, period. I want you to go the way of the image of my dear son. Because that's the same image I created you to be. Not created you to be this mean, cruel to your brothers. You know, you are your brother's keepers. And that's yeah. why he needs you to do the right thing. But not being hateful. You're not called to be hateful. You're called to be to good news. You're not called to be superior. You're called to be children of God. And if that in itself is superior, then you call calling others to be as well. It's not something that's only isolated for a selected few who can own. Because matter of fact, if you think about it, if we deal with black superiority or white superiority or brown superiority or, or Jew superiority or any of those superiorities, those things are all perishing. And then you have to go and be God. You're all accountable to God. So let's do the right thing. Let's learn to love one another. You're not called to be hateful. You're not called to be superior. You're not called to seek vain glory. You're called to preach the gospel. And you, and most of you who claim to be Christians are really making it a challenge for those who want to preach the gospel because the history of those who proclaim their Christians, but we're not, because the tree is known by its fruit. You are trying to tell people that we're evil, we're hateful, we're, we're judgmental, and we want to keep you out, opposed to bringing you in. We're supposed to bring in the world, saints, if you are in Christ. But for you that's not in Christ, God is saying, I want you. And it doesn't matter how low you go, I want you to repent and come toward him. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.